Hello everyone, welcome back. As you can see, I'm playing Evolve here, and today I'm going to be playing as the Wraith, which is easily the most annoying character in this game. The Wraith has very low health and shields, but she makes up for it in the crazy amount of damage she has, and the evasion, as you'll see in there. And I'm going to do against hard bots, because since the game just came out, there are a lot of really bad people in this, so it'll be a better showing to do it against bots on hard. Because I will say, I have played the uh, alpha and the beta, so I have experience in the game that carries over to the full game, <laughs> and everyone else is like, uh, wait, how do you play as this hunter? Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> so yeah, they are they're not so good right now. And I'm going to go on the aviary map, because this is actually a pretty sweet one. Alright, here we go. Select the wraith. And I haven't played a lot as the wraith, I've only done like three or four times, so I'm kind of experimenting with all this stuff. I think what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to do Warp Blast, Decoy, and Supernova. Supernova is actually extremely good. And then, of course, I'm going to do damage resistance. As I mentioned before, she takes a ton of damage. So it's definitely best to do that. And since I'm doing bots, I'm going to go ahead and pick every hard character in the game. So I'm going to pick all the good hunters just to show you how good the uh, Wraith is. And I'm also going to set them to max difficulty as well. Put on Cabot, or Cabot, however you say his name. Yeah, he deals the most damage out of the hunters with his railgun. It is surprising. Now let's see... I have not played as Abe yet, but I have played as Griffin, and he is extremely annoying at trapping the monster. I won a game last time playing as Griffin, just because I kept holding the Goliath still. And <laughs> he was like, damn it, let me go! Now these two, I don't know which one's the strongest out of these, but Hyde's really good. You know what, I'll do uh, Parnell, see how that rocket launcher fares. So yeah, I got a pretty decent team set up against me right now, so let's go ahead and see how this goes. Alright, here we go. Oh, oh, uh, eh, nah, it's too risky this early. Gonna warp out of here. As you can see, instead of leaping or flying, what the Wraith does is she warps across. And it moves very quickly that way. Because the Kraken can fly, but the Wraith can just dash everywhere with that little warp. So yeah, she's definitely the most agile out of all of them. Which is why she has no armor and health. As you can see up there, the bars are minuscule at best. If you get into a prolonged fight, you are done for. Unless you do what most people should do as the Wraith, and that's focus one-on-one -on, -one on everyone. That way you just tear them apart from the inside. Because once you get one or two down as the Wraith, the game's pretty much over. There's no way two Hunters are going to take you down. Unless you're really low on health, then maybe. But other than that, you'll just completely devastate them. Oh, almost forgot. Need to turn the difficulty up. Favors Hunters. There we go. I'm assuming that means hard. Because there's Favors Monsters, which is probably easy. Balance, which is normal. And then favors hunters, which is hard. Now, I'm not exactly sure where they are, so I'm going to do some sense first before I get out of here. This is making me feel a little weird that I can't see them. I always like to keep some tabs on the hunters. Oh, carrying birds came in. Well, now they're going to know where I'm at. Time to get out of here. Scale away in the night. Damn, where are these hunters? <laughs> it's making me really paranoid. It's like I'm going to go around a corner and they're all just going to jump me. Ah, that's right, those bugs don't get food. Never mind. Ooh, this one does. These are easily the best ones to hunt. They drop three bars, and they are very easy to kill. Go away, birds. Every time that happens, they know where I'm at now. Bounce attack. Yeah. I did that on Daisy the other day as the Wraith. Needless to say, their team was not able to catch up in time. Ooh, here we go. Ah, oh, damn it. As soon as I get the ability to evolve, that's when the hunters decide to show up. You know what? I'm going to give them a little decoy to fight, and then I'm going to make my escape. Ah, yeah, see, they fell for it, too. <laughs> Dumb hunters. Oh, no. They didn't fall for it for long, though. I'm going to go ahead and warp out of here before Griffin drops down that mobile arena. The one thing you'll notice, and you're probably thinking, is why set AI when you can just do human players? Well, the human players right now do not put up much of a fight. I will say the AI as the monster is way better than any human monster ever fought. Jesus. If you've played the evacuation campaign in this game, it is nigh impossible until you get to the defend step. And I mean with all computer players, like, on your team. Doing it with human players will be a little easier. I'm going to do one in abduction, and then two into these. There we go. Yeah, now I'm starting to get the spines coming out. Whoa, hello, little big guy. Bam! Warp blast there. But yeah, the AI does not mess around in the campaign. The hunters aren't really that great with the AI when you're playing Evacuation. Well, that's also because I'm extremely good at the monsters. But yeah, the monster AI just does not mess around. 
See, now that I have a full bar at stage two for my armor, I'm going to go ahead and start a skirmish. Because my brother pointed out, I usually I wait until stage three before I start a fight, but if you beat them down over time, then it's much better in the end result. Although I will have to come at this stealthy-like. <laughs> come on, guys, where you at? You know, I'm going to alert these birds to draw them over, and then I'm going to go hide around the wall. See what that does. So those dumb hunters can't resist. <laughs> go away, little monkey creature. I was trying to hide the other day, and those little monkey things kept coming after me. They almost blew my cover, and then they did. <laughs> so that was very annoying. Speaking of very annoying, where are these damn hunters? Yeah, playing as the hunters in this definitely turns it into a survival horror game. It is pretty scary when you have a stage 3 monster warping around. Well, there's a lot of dead animals over here, so I'm guessing the hunters are close. <laughs> so one thing I think is funny about the story in this. Uh, alright. Just corpses now. Ah, maybe the bodies, like, decay over time? I don't know. That's weird. But anyway, I think the story's kind of funny. Because they went to a planet that wasn't theirs. Like, it's not like Earth or anything. It's on a planet called Sheer. And then the wildlife starts attacking them, and they're like, Aw, oh, damn it. Alright, you know what? <laughs> Let's kill these monsters. It's like, you came to their planet. <laughs> what? What kind of sense is that? Yeah, we're going to come to their planet, and if they attack us, we're going to massacre all of them. The logic. I'm starting to think these hunters are invisible. <laughs> I've made a couple laps around this map. I am following a trail of dead bodies, though, so I think I'm, like, right on their tail. Which is weird, because I'm the monster trying to track down the hunters. <laughs> it's a very strange change of pace here. Oh, I've never been out this far into the map. Yeah, because there's, like, a little aviary section, and then there's a section where you go out into the open... And the snow and all that. You know what? I'm just going to go to stage... Th you know what? No. I'm going to use up all of my armor stacks and then I'll go to stage 3. Good lord. I'm going to have to pick up my pace here. <laughs> Where the hell are they? It's like they're really trying to avoid me here. Because I'm going out of my way at this point to chase them down. I can't even find them. Melee attacks slow the hunters. Oh, that's nice. I've never gotten that buff before. Guys get shot. Oh, yeah, here they are. Well, I lost the element of surprise, but at least the fight has finally started. I'm just going to take down Cabot over here. Yeah. Get you down. Supernova! This is very effective. <laughs> it takes down a lot of health, especially when it's at stage three. Yeah. Take that, you hunters. Boom. I'm going to try to take down a couple people and then get out of here. Oh, I'm going to let him get eaten by the Titan over there. Or the Tyrant, not the Titan. <laughs> Different series here. Oh, slapped you through. Oh, I slapped him through the fence. <laughs> All right. I'll give him a little abduction here. Hiya! Yeah, chase you down. As you can see, I am completely massacring this team right now, which is why the Wraith is extremely good. Deals out a ton of damage. Now, where are these? Uh Oh, here we go. I'm going to pounce Lazarus. Oh, missed. <laughs> oh, well. I can still go after him like this. Go, decoy. Yeah, sneak attack. I'm pretty sure that when you go into the decoy camouflage mode, your first attack does more damage. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> now I'm going to use abduction to pull him back into the supernova. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, the wraith is very tactical. <laughs> Oh, wait, you gonna run for me? Alright. I'll just slowly sneak after you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, I win. Alright. So, yeah, as you can see, at stage two, I completely destroyed them. That actually wasn't my plan. I was gonna <laughs> go to stage three and then take them down, but, you know, that works too. As you can also see, the damage reduction definitely helped. Alright, so that was some Evolve gameplay as the Wraith. I will definitely be back with the other monsters. And I will also be doing Hunters. I don't know if I'm going to do all 12 of them, but I might do the four in the last tier of the characters, like Cabot, the, um, the medic with the grenade launcher. Or maybe just my favorite out of the three. So I'll do, like, Hyde and Cabot and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll definitely be back for that kind of gameplay. And I don't know what's up next, but it's most likely another Evolve video. And I do have new shows coming out next week. I said they were going to be this week. <laughs> But I've been way too caught up in Evolve, so I'm going to do some Evolve videos and then go to the shows. I'm still recording the shows, though, so I still have shows in the pipeline. 
So the next couple weeks we'll already have pre-recorded episodes and all that. So that is good. All right, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.